Today we're going to be testing out pretty much every case that Spigen makes for the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra. I personally like Spigen accessories myself. They're pretty protective and they don't cost a fortune. And if you guys want to pick any of these up, I will be putting a product link in the video description. And I promise you by the end of this video, you'll know which one of these cases are right for you. So let's get started. Here we have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case in the 01 pattern. Let's see how much this case weighs. Thirty-eight grams. This is probably one of the cooler cases that I've seen so far. It looks like the inside of your Galaxy S24 Ultra, and it's not all in the same layer. This case actually has depth to it. So, like the charging port on the back here is kind of recessed underneath the battery layer. It just looks so cool. I don't know if you guys can tell from you know on camera, but in person it looks really neat. It does have a hard polycarbonate back surrounded by a rubbery type TPU material. Put our phone inside the case. Feels really nice in the hand. It does have some grip to it. The buttons on the side, super easy to find and press. The power button's got kind of like a little texture on it, which I love. If you look at it from the side, you can see it's got a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case, and it also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk either. We also do have some extra reinforcements in the corners too for some drop protection there. On the bottom, we have our cutouts, our S Pen port where you can easily access the S Pen. We have our power button, which is kind of textured. It's got that serration, very nice, and our volume buttons. On the back, again, it shows off that the inside of your phone looks really cool. And we also have some slight raised edges for some camera protection there. Not the best that I've seen, but ever so slight. Now this case might have MagSafe built in. Let's try one of their power banks. I have a Spigen wireless MagSafe power bank here and it doesn't seem to clip onto the back, which is unfortunate because that would be really cool to see that actually function. But definitely not a bad case. It will offer some protection and it looks really cool. And there's the inside of the case as well. It's got a pretty cool little texture to it too. And the Ultra Hybrid also comes in this kind of frosted black case as well. It's got all the same features. It just doesn't have the pattern. Let's see how much this case weighs. 39 grams. And then here we have one of my personal favorites, the Spigen Rugged Armor case. This is one of my favorite cases because not only does it keep the phone nice and slim, but it does offer some protection for your phone while not going overboard. It's got a really cool matte texture on the back so it doesn't show fingerprints and it's got like this carbon fiber inlay. Well, let's see how much this case weighs. 44 grams. It is made of a all type TPU material. There's no hard pieces on this case, but it does have some extra reinforcements in the edges for draw protection. Fits the case perfectly, feels really good in the hand. It's not grippy, but it's not slippery either. It's got kind of like this texture on the side, like a smooth rubber feel, feels nice. Buttons on the side are easily accessible. As you can see, it has a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case, and it doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. We have that kind of serration texture on the side. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Again, you can easily access that S Pen. We have our power button and our volume buttons on the side. And on the back, again, it's got kind of like that matte feel with the carbon fiber inlay. It just looks really cool and it feels nice. And it's got some raised edges around our camera lenses as well. This case also does, doesn't have MagSafe built in, but again, if you don't care about that and you just want to keep your phone a fairly slim while offering some protection for drops, the Rugged Armor case is definitely one I would check out. 
I love this textured matte feel on the back. And then here we have the Spigen Tough Armor case. So I've never been too keen on the Tough Armor case. It just, I don't know, it just kind of looks cheap to me, but it's supposed to offer some pretty good draw protection on the inside here. It's got this yellow type foam. Uh, it is a two-piece design, so it's got a hard polycarbonate back surrounded by a softer type TPU material. And the buttons on the side are also uh, kind of flush with the case, except for the power button. It's kind of indented with this texture. And I think this might have MagSafe built in. Yeah, it does. So that's definitely a plus. Let's see how much this case weighs. 62 grams. And it's also got this little plastic kickstand on the back. It's super flimsy. It feels super cheap. It just kind of flops around, but it will get the job done. So let's put our phone inside the case. So it feels good in the hand. It's got kind of like that smooth rubber feel to it. Buttons are clicky, but if it's in your pocket, you might have a hard time trying to figure out where these buttons are because they're flush, which I really don't care for. We also do have some reinforcements in the corners for drop protection. If we look at the case from the side, there is a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It adds a little bit of extra bulk because of that polycarbonate backing, but it's not horrible. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. Again, easily access that S Pen. We have our serrated power button on the side and our volume buttons. The one thing I will say about these buttons is they're, per they're pretty big, they're oversized. On the back, it's got kind of like this, kind of like a silicone type feel, I want to say, but it's just plastic. Again, we have that kickstand and we have some raised edges around our camera lenses. So let's test out the MagSafe. We have that Spigen MagSafe battery. Clips onto the back pretty strong and immediately starts to charge your phone. The MagSafe is also on there pretty good so you don't have to worry about the accessory just falling off and it sits flush with the back of the case. And then for that kickstand, kind of lift it up and it'll keep your phone in a landscape mode. You can't put it up in a portrait mode because the phone will just fall over and then it clips back into place. Again, like I said, not the greatest by any means, but it will get the job done. And because this case does have MagSafe built in, let's see how the S Pen reacts on the screen. And I don't really see any issues. So you really shouldn't have any problems there using the S Pen with this case. And then here we have the Neo Hybrid case by Spigen. So here is the case. It's got a rubbery type TPU material on the back. Kind of looks woven. Feels kind of cool. This is a very flexible case as well. And it has some kind of like extra like plastic piece all the way around the edge and across the back of the case too. It doesn't add any rigidity, rigidity <laughs> to the case, but it just kind of makes it look a little cooler. Let's see how much this case weighs. 49 grams. Let's put our phone inside. So it was a little harder to get my phone inside the case, but we finally got it in. Feels good in the hand. It does have, it's got some good grip to it. That, that piece on the side, it adds a lot of grip to the phone. So you definitely don't have to worry about just dropping this. Buttons on the side are nice and clicky, easily accessible. The only thing I worry about is taking this in and out of your pocket. It's probably gonna get stuck on these edges because it's all the way around the phone. If we look at the case from the side, it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom. It's got rounded edges on the, on the side here and it doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. 
We have our cutouts on the bottom. Again, you can very easily access that S Pen. We have our power button that is serrated and our volume buttons. On the back again, it's got kind of like that woven feel. Does not show fingerprints because it is matte. Looks really cool. Feels cool too, nice and smooth. And we also have some plastic raised edges around our cameras too. So not a bad case. Again, like I said, the only thing I worry about is the grippiness of these edges and you pulling it in and out of your pocket. It's either going to get stuck or this is probably going to wear away and just look kind of weird and worn out after a while. But it's not a bad case. And here is the Spigen Liquid Air Case. So this case is made of all TPU. It's very flexible. There's no rigid parts on this case whatsoever. It's got kind of like a really cool texture on the back. Doesn't show any fingerprints, which is nice. Let's see how much this case weighs. Thirty-seven grams. Put our phone in the case. Goes onto the case pretty easy. Feels nice in the hand. It does have like a smooth rubber type feel to it. Very nice buttons on the side. Very easily pressable, nice and clicky. If we look at the case from the side, it says the same raised edge on the top and the bottom. And it's also not very thick either, which I love. It's got that serration for grip on the side. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can still very easily access your S Pen. We have our power button, which is a little serrated, and our volume buttons with that texture on the side. On the back, again, it's got kind of like that, that texture. It's, you can't really feel it. It's just nice and smooth, and it also doesn't show any fingerprints too, so that's definitely a plus. And we have some raised edges around our camera lenses too. So it's just a very simple, light case. Looks pretty good, and it will actually keep your phone somewhat protected. And here we have the Spigen Liquid Crystal Case. Here is the case. It is crystal clear, and it's made of the flexible TPU material as well. There's no rigid pieces on here. Let's see how light it is. 37 grams. So if you want to show off the color of your phone, you can get this case. Goes in the phone pretty good. Does have some grip to it. Feels really nice. Buttons on the side are nice and clicky. Easily accessible. If you look at the case from the side, you can see it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. And there's also some little, like these little airbags in the corners for some draw protection there too. And it shows off the color of your phone. Absolutely love that. Looks really good. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can easily access your S Pen. We have our serrated power button on the side, as well as our volume buttons on the back. Shows off the color of your phone. And for fingerprints, it doesn't seem to really show fingerprints, so that's definitely a plus. And there's also a slight raised edge around our camera lenses too. So a nice case if you want to show off the color of your phone and not hide it because you know, why buy a colored phone if you're just going to put a case over it? I think it looks really cool in the natural titanium. And here we have the Spigen Slim Armor CS case. So this case is in the Abyss Green. And as you can see, it does have a card holder on the back. That should hold probably at least one card. So it's got a hard kind of card holder on the back surrounded by a softer TPU rubber. It's got that interesting texture that they chose. Not sure that I would have chose like a straight line on the back. It definitely could have been a little better than that. Feels nice in the hand. It does have like a kind of like a little a slightly rough texture on the side, but it still feels like rubber. Buttons are easily accessible. If we look at it from the side, it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. And as you can see, it does definitely add some extra bulk to your phone because of that card holder. We'll see, it also, we'll see if it also works with wireless charging as well. 
on the bottom we have our cutouts easily access the S Pen power button and volume buttons on the side on the back again we have our card holder with this really weird texture that they chose I, I think that looks really bad <laughs> I really don't like that they could have chose like any other texture that would have been better than that and it also has some raised edges around our camera lenses as well but now when you put your phone on its back because there's this gap the camera lenses won't touch what you put your phone down on anyway but let's open this up and put one of our cards in so we have a couple flat cards and we have one that has kind of like texture on it so let's put this inside so that's in there and two no so two flat cards will fit in there very easily as you can see easily opens up but to get the cards out it's not too bad the last one is a little bit harder especially if you don't have nails like me but you can get them out it's not that easy but at least it holds two cards now let's put in our embossed one and then we'll put in one of the flat ones so you can it's it's able to hold two cards one flat one embossed or two flat i don't think it'll fit two embossed cards because it might just be a little too thick but that first card is very easy to get out and the second one it's a little harder because it's kind of in there so that's pretty cool and this also does come in other colors as well so now let's see if you can wirelessly charge through this case with cards in the back card holder and it does still seem to work now I wouldn't recommend wirelessly charging this with the cards in there because you want the least resistance as possible when you're wirelessly charging but as you can see it will work and then here we have the cryo armor case in red and this is definitely one of the cooler cases that Spigen makes as you can see it kind of looks like it's lighting up but all it is is a layer underneath the back here looks really cool I think they also have this in blue as well So it does have a firmer backing on it surrounded by a softer TPU material and this does not have MagSafe. Let's see how much the case weighs. Forty-five grams. So it fits the phone really well, feels nice in the hand. It's got kind of like a smooth rubbery type feel buttons on the side are also nice and clicky easily pressable if we look at it from the side we do have that same raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case we also do have some reinforcements in the corners for draw protection it's got kind of like this little line for grip on the side we have our cutouts on the bottom you can very easily access your s pen we have our power button and volume buttons on the side and on the back again it's got kind of like that really cool red light up look and it's kind of rubbery feeling too looks really cool we also have a full cutout for all our cameras and it's also raised above the lenses for protection there too another one of my favorite cases just because of the way that it looks so cool it's it's different and then here is that cryo armor in the blue that looks so nice which one is your favorite would you guys like the red or the blue better let me know in the comments below i think my favorite definitely has to be the cryo blue and here we have the speaking thin fit this case is super light let's see how much it weighs 31 grams it does have a hard kind of firm backing surrounded by a kind of TPU rubber on the sides let's put our phone inside the case feels pretty good in the hand it's got kind of like a smooth type of rubber feel to it buttons on the side easily pressable nice and clicky 
if we look at the case from the side, you can see that there is a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone either. On the sides, we do have like that two tone kind of top TPU with the softer rubber on the bottom here. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can easily access your S Pen as well. On the other side, we have our power and our volume buttons. On the back, it's got kind of like that smooth, kind of matte silicone feel to it. And we also have some slight raised edges for camera protection as well. Pretty nice case. So if you want to add some protection to your phone, but not add a lot of extra bulk, the thin fit case is a pretty good choice. And this case also works with regular wireless charging as well. And if you want a little more protection for your camera lenses as well, Spigen also sells protectors for the rear cameras. So definitely a nice case. Again, like I said, feels good in the hand, and it's not going to add a lot of extra bulk to the phone while still adding some decent protection. And then here we have the Ultra Hybrid S case. So here is the case. As you can see, it is a all clear design. It has a very hard protective polycarbonate back. We also do have a metal kickstand built into the case and it's surrounded by a softer TPU type material that is still pretty firm. So let's see how much this case weighs. Sixty-seven grams. Now there is a protector on the inside of the case that you're going to want to remove before you put your phone inside. Put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone pretty good. Feels good in the hand. It does have a slight bit of grip to it, which helps keep hold on the phone. Buttons are also nice and clicky, very easily pressable, which I love. If we look at the side, you can see there's a raised edge on the top and the bottom of the phone. And we also have, now if we look at the case from the side, we, we can see that we do have a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. We also have these little airbags in the corners for some drop protection. And you can see how thick the bottom of the case is, which you're going to get a lot of protection there. And they do that. And they did this so there's no bump for the kickstand, which I prefer. On the bottom of our phone, we have our cutouts. You can also easily access the S Pen. On the other side, we have our textured power button and our volume buttons. On the back, peel off that protector. And it shows off the color of your phone. Really nice. And then for this metal kickstand, feels very solid. Again, it's not made of plastic, it is all metal, and it's not flimsy either. It pretty much stays in any position you're gonna put it, and you can put your phone down in a landscape, which you can actually kind of angle more towards your face if you want, and you can also stand your phone up in a portrait. And then when you're done, it clips back into the, the case, nice and flush. I absolutely love that. And we also do have a good raised edge around our camera lens as well. So this is a really nice case. I love the cases that have the kickstands built in on the back. And I do really like that there's no bump. I like the fact that they made it flush with the case, even though that means adding a little bit of extra thickness to the back of the phone, but that also adds more protection for the phone and your camera lenses. And this case also does work with regular wireless charging. So if you're looking for a nice clear case with a built-in kickstand, I would definitely recommend the Ultra Hybrid S. And then here we have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid One Tap Metal Ring Case. So as you can see, it is a all clear design. It's got a nice hard polycarbonate back with built-in MagSafe surrounded by a firm TPU material. So let's see how much this case weighs. 48 grams. And before you put your phone in here, you're gonna to wanna to remove the protector. Okay. 
We'll put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone very nicely. Buttons on the side are easily pressable, nice and clicky. Feels good in the hand, it's got a nice firm rubber grip. If we look at the case from the side, you can see again, it's got a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. We also have those airbags in the corners for drop protection. It does add just a slight bit of bulk to the phone because of that polycarbonate back with the MagSafe built in, but it's still pretty slim. We have our cutouts on the bottom. You can still easily access your S Pen. We have our textured power button on the side with our volume buttons. On the back, we'll remove that protector. And as you can see, it is crystal clear to show off the color of your phone. Very nice. And we also do have a slight raised edge around our camera lenses as well. Now let's test out the MagSafe. Here I have my Spigen MagSafe power bank. Clips onto the back and immediately starts to charge your phone. And it's got a pretty good strong hold on the back as well, so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just falling off. And this case also works with regular wireless charging as well. Another thing to note is that there is a slight kind of raised edge on the bottom of the case as well. So when you put your phone on its back, it's really not going to touch the back of the phone. And if you need to type or text or anything, it's not going to just wobble all over the place. So another really nice clear case. If you need a clear case to show off the color of your phone with only MagSafe, the Ultra Hybrid One Tap with metal ring is definitely going to be a good choice for you. And then here we have the Optic Armor case. This case has a really nice matte kind of rubbery feel on the back. And it also has a camera cover to protect your camera lenses that you can slide back and forth and it clips into place. So let's see how much this case weighs. 53 grams. Now this case is made of a flexible TPU type material. There's no hard portions on this case at all. We'll put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone really well. It's got kind of like a smooth rubbery type feel to it. Buttons on the side. Easily pressable, nice and clicky. If we look at the case from the side, you can see it's got the same slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It adds just a little bit of extra bulk to the bottom of the phone here because of that camera cover, but it's still not bad. We have our cutouts on the bottom. Still easily access your S Pen. We have our power, power button and our volume buttons on the side. On the back, again, it's got that nice, cool, kind of like a matte texture that it's not going to show any fingerprints. And again, we have the camera cover, and we also have a raised edge all the way around the back of the phone for our camera lens protection as well. So if you want to cover your cameras, you just simply slide this cover over just like that, and now your back is totally protected. It also stays in place pretty well. It doesn't just flop around. And then you can easily move it to the side. It's got kind of like this little, little clip into place. So again, like, you, like I said, it's not going to just move around when you're using it day to day. Now this case does not have MagSafe built in, but it does work with regular wireless charging. So if you want to add some protection to your phone, as well as the camera lenses on the back, the Optic Armor case is definitely a good option for you. And then here we have the Spigen Glass TR Easy Fit Optic Pro lenses for the rear camera. So we get two sets of camera covers as well as a camera lens remover. So these are really easy to install. All you need to do is clean off your camera lenses, then take one of your camera lenses. You're gonna line it up with the lenses on the back of the camera. We'll peel off the back protector. Place this over your camera lenses. Press and slide. Lift up on the guide. And you're all set. That looks super clean. 
I actually prefer the blacked out edges versus the silver that's actually on the phone. It just looks a lot sleeker. And it actually looks like it's supposed to be on the phone. That's really nice. And as you can see, it doesn't add a lot of extra raised edge to the camera lenses either. Let's test out our camera. So as you can see, it is super clean, no issues, it's still nice and clear. Looks pretty good. So you shouldn't have any problems taking photos or videos with the lens protectors on the back of the phone. And let's see how it fits inside the case. Here we have the Spigen Thin Fit that I had mentioned before. And as you can see, the lenses fit perfectly inside this case. And as you can see now, the lenses are pretty much flush with those raised edges on the back, but they're still protected by the tempered glass. It looks so clean. So now we're going to test out the scratch resistance for these protectors. Now typically tempered glass starts to scratch around the most hardness number 6, so we're going to start off with a number 5. Then we'll move on to a number six, and then a number seven. So if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are ever so slight at the number six, and a little deeper with some gouges at the number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be a little bit better than regular tempered glass. And then if you want to remove the protectors, just take your camera lens removal tool and just kind of get that edge underneath the protector and you can simply just lift them off just like that. The lenses are on the phone pretty good and they don't really easily come off unless you have this particular tool. And then here we have one of the newer cases, the Enzo Aramid case. So this is one of their more premium cases. The Aramid fiber on the back feels nice and smooth and it doesn't show fingerprints. Feels really nice. We also do have what looks like a metal ring around the camera lenses for extra protection there and our metal buttons on the side. Very nice looking. On the inside we also have a, a nice soft felt material so it protects the glass in the back and it's also got MagSafe built in. It also has a nice firm back surrounded by a softer TPU rubber. Let's see how much this case weighs. Forty-eight grams, not bad. It's still really light. Fits the phone really well. Feels good in the hand. It's got kind of like that smooth rubber type feel. Buttons are nice and clicky, easily pressable, and as you can see, they don't protrude much from the case. So while it's in your pocket, you might have a little trouble finding it, but holding it naturally outside of your pocket feels nice. There's nothing for your fingers to get, you know, caught on. If you look at it from the side, we have the same raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case. It also doesn't look to add much bulk to the phone. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. You can access your S Pen very easily. On the side, we have a lanyard hole and those metal power and volume buttons. On the back, again, it's got that metal ring around the camera lenses, and it's also raised above them to protect them too. And then we have that smooth aramid fiber. Looks really nice. Got this little Spigen logo right in the bottom there. So cool. Really like this case. Now let's test out the MagSafe. So I thought it did have MagSafe, but I was mistaken. Yeah, so that's interesting. It looked like there was a MagSafe ring in the, in the middle here, but there's no MagSafe for this case. You would have thought for the price that they're asking for this case, they would have included it, but they didn't. So again, if you want one of their more premium looking cases, definitely looks good. I'd go with this Aramid Fiber case. So that is Spigen's case lineup for the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra. Which one of these cases were your favorite? Let me know in the comments. 
And again, if you guys want to pick any of these up, I will be putting product links in the video description. If you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.